The King's Avatar, Chapter 1160 The Rushing Broken River, Audio Source, WusharWorldAudioBook.com Chapter 1160, The Rushing Broken River. Translator, Nomiyami Editor, Nomiyami. The Elementalist's skill ice line suddenly appeared at this moment. Should this come as a surprise? The situation was too complicated to say for sure. This was a situation with no Elementalist, yet an Elementalist's skill had appeared, so of course it was a surprise. But this situation included the unspecialized Lord Grimm, so perhaps it shouldn't be surprising. But the unspecialized was only supposed to have access to low-level skills available before choosing a class, and Ice Line was not such a skill, so this was surprising. But Lord Grimm had used Cloud Grasping Fist with his myriad manifestations umbrella before, so everyone was aware that the unspecialized could access higher level skills through his weapon. Especially after the Cloud Grasping Fist. The unspecialized Lord Grimm had already displayed countless high level skills with the myriad manifestations umbrella, and now, he used an elementalist's ice line. This caused everyone to realize a frightening reality. Ordinary weapons could only have one skill applied to them. But because the myriad manifestations umbrella could change between a variety of different forms, each form could have a different skill applied to it according to the class. It was known that applying a skill to a weapon was not a complicated process. The materials and skill books required, compared to rare materials, weren't too difficult to obtain. So the skills applied to the weapons held by professional accounts were changed regularly. Depending on the opponent, they would often choose a skill that they felt was the most useful to apply to their weapon and use it for the next battle. One weapon, one type of change. But the myriad manifestations umbrella. No one wanted to think about it anymore. It was a headache. Hundred Blossoms couldn't think about such long-term headaches right now, because they were the victims of this change right now. The Myriad Manifestations Umbrella had the Ice Line skill. It hadn't been mentioned in the match data they had studied beforehand. Even though this general possibility had been proposed, and in theory Hundred Blossoms had been prepared for it, it had really just been an idea tossed around. The idea meant that Lord Grimm could use every single ability in glory. 24 classes, hundreds of skills. Even if just talking about aerial skills, they all had their own characteristics and uses. Now that they were talking about every single skill in existence, there was absolutely no way to defend against that. Even more devastating was the fact that Ye Zhu used his skills so stealthily. Hundred Blossoms had no idea when he had laid down this ice line. They discovered it when they triggered it, and by then there was no escape for them. Lord Grimm had access to higher level skills through his weapon. Because he could only add one level, the power wouldn't be that strong. His ice line couldn't last for long, but it was enough. Happy only need to withdraw their attacks and adjust. How long would that take? The fact that he would lay down this ice line meant that they were already prepared for the next stage of attack. Zhou Guang Yi's cold seasons once again scrambled onto the shore from the rapidly flowing river. And all he saw was wave after wave of devastating attack, flashing so much that he almost couldn't look directly at his screen. His teammates had already been swallowed by these countless flashes, and he couldn't even find their positions. All he could see were the health bars of his three teammates rapidly plummeting. Under the overwhelming barrage of attacks, a cleric simply had no way of casting. Healing skills that had no cast time could be used in emergencies to save the situation. But in an emergency like this where there was no way of escaping from the situation, a few instant casts wouldn't help much. Zhou Guang Yi was their last hope, and he himself was clear on this point. He didn't shrink back, nor did he recklessly charge AEAD. 
He controlled cold seasons to quickly follow the shoreline so he could get a better view of the situation. Finally, he saw the happy trio that was blasting attacks at the Hundred Blossoms players. Dancing rain, boundless sea, one inch ash. No time to hesitate, charge. Cold seasons flashed to AED, and dancing rain suddenly turned her cannon. Boom. The cannon blast flew toward him. Zhou Guangyi, who had already been blasted into the river twice now, was now fiercely on the defensive. In the same instant that the cannon moved, he was already twisting aside to nimbly avoid it. Since he didn't have the support of any teammates right now, he didn't use Xing Cut, which was a skill that once used was hard to retract. It would be impossible to use this skill to directly break through the defense of so many enemies. Dancing Rain's cannon shot missed, but she swung out a Gatling gun, and bullets began flying everywhere. Zhou Guangyi activated swift movements, then used swift runs, and Cold Season's movement speed reached its peak. His dodging amidst the rain of bullets could truly be called elegant, a beautiful solo maneuver, and he finally arrived near the three players. Cold Flash at this distance, Zhou Guangyi finally acted without hesitation. He was confident that no other skill was faster than him. One inch ash lifted his blade, the power of ghosts coalescing, as though to meet him with a ghost slash. But, was he fast enough? The cold light fell, and as expected, one inch ash's ghost slash wasn't fast enough. A string of blood droplets flew out in front of his chest, and he staggered backwards. Zhou Guangyi didn't rush to kill him, since Boundless Sea was still blasting his teammates. His priority was to rescue his teammates, because by himself, he couldn't take on all of these opponents. His use was to interrupt their rhythm. Cold Seasons swiftly turned and came at Boundless Sea with a heart-piercing stab but his own body suddenly flew up. Zhou Guangyi turned his camera frantically only to see Lord Grimm lifting high his myriad manifestations umbrella in spear form, sending him flying with a circle swing. Where in the world did this guy come from? Zhou Guangyi's depression was incomparable. He really wasn't unfamiliar with Yi Xu at all. Even though he wasn't a player of that era, he had come from tyranny. Which team could beat Tyranny at understanding Yi Xu? But Zhou Guangyi discovered that he truly had no way of predicting the Yi Xu before him now, the Yi using Lord Grimm. Cold Seasons was sent rolling on the ground, but the effects of his sudden appearance and interruption were clear to see. From Su Mucheng to Qiao Yivan then to Yi Xu, Happy need three players to take action to control him. Any attacks toward Cold Seasons were attacks that didn't go toward the trio from Hundred Blossoms. And Zhou Yuan seized this opportunity to use one of the Spitfire's high-level skills, Chaotic Thunder. Aside from this official name, this skill had a nickname, Goddess Scattering Flowers. Great blossoms reached into the pockets at his hips, withdrawing countless grenades between his fingertips as though they were flower petals, and sent them flying with a shake of his wrists. These grenades were varied and complicated. Some were ordinary ones that exploded upon impact, some were powerful bursts, some exploded after a set countdown, some released poisonous gas, and so on and so forth. In essence, it was all of the different types of Spitfire grenades combined into one attack, and now, they were all hurled toward Happy's players. Too many grenades were released at once to determine which type each of them were. Happy didn't dare to just take the damage, since many Spitfire grenades had effects aside from just pure damage. Take the burst grenade, for example, although its damage wasn't high, the impact was so powerful that even super armor couldn't stop it. No matter what status someone was in, if hit by the burst grenade, their position would be instantly scattered. WashaWorldAudio.com. The best defense was a good attack. 
Happy's players all dodged in different directions, and the place where they had been standing was blasted apart. Fire, smoke, poison gas, powerful blasts, they were scattered all around. Happy hadn't dodged enough. Because Kiao Yifen's one-inch ash had been standing at the core, he was hit by the poison gas and became poisoned, and his health began to drop by the second. And Su Chung's dancing rain, while using aerial gun to escape, was hit by the blast of a burst grenade, sending her even farther away. Hundred Blossoms instantly seized this opportunity. Mo Chuchun's cleric found cover and hurriedly began casting heals. Zhu Xiaoping's summoner quickly called several summons as support. Bright Blossoms, who had orchestrated this stunning reversal for Hundred Blossoms, was already reaching for more grenades, and he dominated the scene with all the atmosphere of a core player. But after quickly scanning his surroundings, he suddenly realized Lord Grimm, Boundless Sea, and also Cold Seasons. Where did they go? Underwater. Zhou Guangyi realized that his teammates might have lost him, and rushed to send this message in the team chat. In the midst of the chaos, he hadn't expected that Fang Rui, while dodging, had still remembered him. Boundless Sea, with Qi flowing cloud activated, had brushed by, specially coming by to pat him. Zhou Guangyi had tried to dodge, but he hadn't dodged enough, his shoulder was hit, and that one pat had turned out to be a powerful Qigong blast. In an instant, Cold Seasons was sent into the air. He had no tears left as he looked at the broken river below him. Zhou Guangyi prepared to use air jump to return to shore, but Lord Grimm suddenly appeared above him. With an eagle stamp and then a falling light blade, Cold Seasons was directly shoved into the water again. And then Fang Rui, that guy, he had controlled Boundless Sea to enter the water as well. In that 2v1, Cold Seasons was miserably beaten up underwater. When the Hundred Blossoms players saw the message, they all rushed to the riverside. But the river was rushing fiercely. The three were fighting underwater, but from the surface, nothing unusual could be seen. Where? Zhou Yuan sent to the chat, worried. It was clear that Zhou Guangyu wouldn't have reported his position if he weren't in need of immediate support. Washed away. What a short message. There wasn't even any punctuation. Zhou Yuan and the others grew worried. If you were washed away by the broken river all the way until the end, you'd be washed out of the map and directly eliminated. Zhou Guangyi's desperate message showed that he was currently in a bad situation right now. Right now, they could see that Su Mucheng, Qiao Yivan, and An Wen Yi's characters were all here, but Yi Xu and Fang Rui were still missing. Were they in the water fighting Zhou Guangyi? Zhou Yuan and the others were in a dilemma. If they went to save Zhou Guangyi, it would be hard to get rid of the three in front of them. If they didn't save him, there was nothing but disaster waiting for Zhou Guangyi's cold seasons. But as they struggled with their options, a silhouette flashed out of the stone forest, riding a broom. He directly flew to the surface of the river, and went under with a splash. Zhang Wei, Hundred Blossoms' sixth person, entered the battle from the stone forest. After seeing the message in the chat, he directly rushed to the riverside and entered the water. Finally, Zhou Yuan and the others saw that they had support. Now, they could relax and deal with Happy's three in front of them, and at the same time think about how they could regroup with the others. With Zhang Wei, it would now be a 2v2. But Happy's side had Yi Xu and Fang Rui. Even though they didn't want the opponent's mere presence to smother their own spirits, they couldn't help but feel uneasy. Better to quickly confirm their status to reassure themselves, 